Hello, dear adventurers, and welcome to the chaos. Wednesdays are proving to be, without fail, the most chaotic day of the week for me. Um, so, <laughs> Twitch is having AWS issues and a lot of other issues, so I wasn't even sure OBS would connect. It wasn't earlier. Uh, my headphones died, which is also my microphone, and my PC is trying to light on fire again. So I have set all of the settings to low, I'm doing my best, and we're here, and we're going to keep trying to do our best. So today I am playing Video Game Fables, this is the demo. I wanted to make sure that I didn't get into content that was a little farther along for spoilers reasons, just in case anyone wanted to give this game a go. It came out last week on Tuesday, I want to say, and I've seen two other streamers play it, uh, Sage Fira and you know, Strawberry Short Kate both played this game. They were given copies from the developer. Momo, uh, Momiji Studios, uh, which is a one-person studio. Uh, it is Matt Sharp. You can see his name on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, let me just real quick in chat. Okay, so... Yeah, Momiji Studios, and there is a link to the Steam store in chat right now. Oh, I'm going to... Hang on. Sorry. I do have chat turned off, and I have switched everything around a little bit so that we can see the game, because I don't know where an appropriate place would be to put my face, and I don't want to cover up too much of the game. So that's why the layout's a little bit different today. I wanted to make sure that we got everything we were looking for and nothing important was covered. Um, also, all the music in this game is incredible. Uh, at the bottom you can see original music by C underscore EGM. So... Uh, that's the person who composed the music, and the soundtrack is available through Steam as well, and the composer gets all pr profits from the Steam sales. However, uh, I spoke to Matt Sharp in chat for some other streamers, and he was saying that Bandcamp gives... Uh, the musician a higher cut, so I've put that link in chat right now in case anyone is interested, and let me tell you, the music only gets better. Uh, you'll be able to hear it shortly. I just wanted to make sure that I got all my spiel out and explained the chaos. Like I said, my computer is trying to light itself on fire again because I guess that's just a Wednesday thing to do. So if stream cuts out, please head over to my Twitter or the Discord for information. We might end up doing another emergency Stardew stream if we get cut off. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but at this point, I can guarantee nothing. <laughs> so I'm real sorry that I can guarantee nothing, but I can guarantee nothing. But yeah, I have not played this game myself. Uh, the keyboard movements are going to be a little bit of uh, a learning curve for me. I do not have a controller. I think I explained it last Wednesday that I don't have a controller for my computer and that when I tried to hook up my partner's PS5 controller, it cut the internet, which obviously makes it not a feasible thing to do for stream. So, let us get into it, shall we? All right, I'm gonna turn the music on and please do let me know if the music is 
too loud at any given time or if I'm too quiet. Whatever it is that I need to do to adjust the volume, please let me know. I know that the music was a little bit loud for me on my end, but I didn't get much of an opportunity to change it quite yet. So again, just please let me know in chat. I super appreciate you. Let's get going. All right. Um, and I'm just going to shove my mouse off to one side. I don't think I can actually use my mouse, so I'm going to just move it over to my other window so that it's not blocking up the screen. So, uh, again, I haven't done anything on here yet. We are going to go into the first data slot and system options is V. We've already done that. Space is jump. Cancel is X. C is confirm and interact. And the movement buttons are the arrow keys. So, uh, let's get this going and hope for the best. If I can... Uh-oh. Uh? Do I have to click it for... Getting started? Oh, I have to go over here to interact. Ha, that's cute. Okay. I also did sleep super well last night, so... Yeah, but I'll let you see what's going on here. Got some thunder and lightning. Some rainbow triangles on this building of sorts with a rainbow bridge. Hero looking character. And the game is paused. And thus concludes the first part of my glorious villainous speech. Now, Act 1, Chapter 2. Yes, it was so glorious it knocked me right out. So, how about when you all are done with your little script and you're actually ready to get this over with, you give me a call. This is Princess Aru. I love her. Um... I love her. <laughs> Aru, thou cannot just leave whilst the ceremony continues. Are you sure? Because... It kind of looks like... I am... Leaving whilst the ceremony continues. Urgh. My generation was never this disrespectful. Tator! Y yes dad Observe how a real villain captures a princess. Raise your claw into the air with a furious swipe of the elbow. Laugh maniacally. Then launch your villain energy! Oh, is she trapped now? Okay, I'm completely over this. And <laughs> she just turns sideways and sidles on out. And where do you think you're going, young lady? Just come out here, dearie. I'm not going to hurt you. Hello? So, why are you out of your room, young lady? First of all, it's not my room, it's a cell. And I love because it's boring, and this whole thing is boring, and I'm going home. 
You know I can't let you do that. Who says? Hmm. So you like breaking the rules, eh? I need a change of view. All I know is thrown in, but mayhaps I could try something new. Carpentry, dancing, swashbuckling. So I'll help you escape if you take me with you. And if I say no? Then I'll scream like this. Ah, then yes, I would love to. Oi, my neck's been hurting quite a bit lately. I hope no one... <laughs> it's going a little bit fast for me, but basically they're like, I'm not going to turn around. It's not my turn. Did you hear something stony behind us? Oi, I've already turned around twice today. If you... You've... <laughs> Don't think I'm going to do it again. What is this place? Also, if you're wondering why I am changing some of the voice lines, or rather not voice lines, but uh, <clears throat> dialogue, it's because I am personally trying not to use ableist language as much, and some of these words are more than a little bit ableist, so I'm trying to change my language in hopes that I can create a more inclusive place for the people who want to be here. It's the shipping bay. Shipping bay for what? You think there's money in villainy? That's cute. Lord Gator manufactures lava. There's good money in the lava industry. We, however, are escaping out the back door. Follow me and quiet down. Ah, oh, I've never been so happy to take a nice deep breath of smog. What are you waiting for? I'm stuck. I'm too thick licious to fit. So, I appreciate the help, but I think I'm just going to... I'm gonna go. Thanks, bye! Wee-oo, wee-oo, the princess is escaping! Wee-oo, wee-oo! That was a nice little flip. Oh, looks like they're coming out to see me off. How nice. Goodbye, friends. Explain. You're a... Okay, look, just don't freak out or snitch. I need a ride to Castleton, and then we can move on with our lives. Princess! Yes, the secret's out. So about that ride to Castleton. So I'm rescuing you? Uh, no, you're actually kind of just giving me a ride. I don't need... I'm saving a princess! I've been holding on to something precious all my life for this moment. <laughs> he has a helmet. <laughs> so, what is it? This is the actual helmet of Hero number 19, Warren and his adventure. I got it at HeroCon a few years ago. It was worth every bit of my life savings. Oh, sweet child. Simply incredible. So, are we on our way to Castleton now, right? No, but we can be. Are we stopping? Why are we stopping? Oh boy, a monster! Princess, let me show you how good I am at fighting. I'd rather not. Can't you just drive around? Nonsense! Princess, have you ever been in a fight before? No, but I've thought about fighting a lot of people. Oh, well I guess that can count. Here, I'll explain what I'm doing just in case you ever have to fight. Great, great dialogue for a tutorial. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. And it looks like the CPU is cooling down a bit. 
which I am super thankful for. But I thought that this fighting system was very interesting, so... Uh, actually, I don't really care. Can we just... Each turn, a column can have multiple turns that go in order from top to bottom. You can see I'm going first because I'm just really fast. I thought the order of the initial turns was random. Okay, that's true, but tr just trust me. I'm pretty fast. If a turn has a white outline like uh, these do, those are decision turns where you pick what action you're going to do. A turn with a red outline is an action, like using a basic attack or a super cool special skill. Watch this, princess. I'm going to choose a basic attack by pressing the button shown under the sword icon. So that's C. Nate is making a decision. Nate is attacking the gloop. If there were multiple enemies, I would obviously use my fantastic strategic knowledge to pick a target with the D-pad or arrow keys. But there's only one, so I'm going to pick this gloop with the confirm button. Now watch this, princess. I've been watching this whole time. I'm going to place my action turn on the timeline. A basic attack has a cast time of one turn, so by default it will appear one turn column after the current one. A basic attack usually also has a recovery time of two turns, so you can see my next decision turn is up there being placed as well. However, if I wanted to place it a little later on the timeline, I can use the D-pad or arrow keys to shift it over. Then, when I'm happy with its position, I'll press confirm to finalize it. Um. Nate uses an attack on Gloop. Obviously, a normal attacks have a cooldown of two turns. So now that I've finished my action, I'm about to queue up my next decision turn. Gloop uses Boop on Nate. Nate is making a decision. Nate is going to attack the Gloop. And, yep, that seems good. Ha! I knew I'd get a crit soon. I'm really lucky like that. Isn't it like a 40% chance to get a crit from a basic attack? I don't know if I'd call you getting one crit from two attacks lucky. His face. Well, anyway. As you may or may not know, the crit doesn't do anything until you choose to use it. Just wait until my next turn. You'll see. This box being filled red is a, like a trophy of my achievement for getting a crit. It's enabled by default, but if I wanted to disable it for some reason, I could do it with the F key. But I'll leave it enabled because I'm about to destroy this gloop. You might be thinking it. I'm about to use this crit on another basic attack. Honestly, I haven't really been thinking anything for the last several minutes. But you would be incorrect. As well-traveled adventurers like myself know, a crit doesn't really do much at all for a basic attack. So, I'm sure you're asking, what's the point of a crit if it can barely increase the damage of a basic attack? Why does that helmet fit you so well? All your questions will be answered. Watch as I press X or Z key to go to my skill menu. So it's Z because we are... Is it Z or is it... Yeah. Okay, I had to confirm dialogue, now I press Z. This is super important. You can only use attack skills when you have a crit. They're super strong, so you definitely want to go ahead and use them when you can. Alright. You can use other skills like heals, buffs, status effects, etc. without a crit if you want, although they will be enhanced by a crit. I only have one skill equipped right now. I like to travel light. If I had more, obviously I'd just use the arrow keys to scroll through them until I was on the one I wanted. Watch how I press the confirm button to select this skill.
Yippee! See how easy that was, princess? Well, it's probably not easy for everyone, but it was for me. It was just a glue, but yes, you were incredible. Can we go now? To Castleton! Okay, let's go. Also, I did turn off the screen shake uh, and such so that it would be easier to view as well as easier on my PC because, again, it is struggling today because it's Wednesday, I guess. Mighty hero, I beg thine aid. Save my daughter. Uh, hello. The comedic timing is so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow, I've got to get his autograph. Aru, what hast thou done? I don't want to be locked up in some crusty prison for some crusty monster, so I left. Dost thou not understand the severity of the consequences thine actions may provoke it? Go to thine room until we can fix this. Come along, princess. <laughs> she just punches him. I'm going for a walk! Hero, where are you going? Uh-oh. Big uh-oh. <sighs> oh, thank goodness you're all here. I need to warn you about... Oh. It is I, the Forsaken Princess. Whom? Exactly. For too long I've been confined to a prison, both literally and metaphorically. It is finally time. METAPHORICALLY! It is finally time for retribution. The castle is gone! What the? You! What just happened? I thought you might know. The whole script is ruined now. The script? You're worried about that of all things right now? Okay, I know we're all very incredibly excited about what's going on here, but let's take a minute to figure this out. What do we know so far? A witch and the hero snatched the king, Lord Gator, the guards, and the entire castle to... I guess this hole in the ground? Okay, well, I thought I had more, but that's it. Any ideas? I know someone who could probably help. The alchemist at Gator Manor. Okay, so go get him. Well? I'm t too scared. Scared of your own house? No, the trip there. My dad does most of the damage on, on the m monsters while we travel. Then we'll help you. Together, with the power of community and friendship, we can solve this problem. It can get pretty darn dangerous out there. Then who's going to cook if I leave? Snore. I think we could all help by doing what we do best instead of getting mopped by some mobs outside. For example, I have some pretty cool items meant for a hero's journey. I'll even give you a discount. Okay, then. It's you and me, buddy. You seem pretty helpless, Tater, so I'll go with you, too. This really is a dream come true. Don't forget to talk to each of us before you leave. Okay, so... If any of you were wondering why I loved this game, I hope you now understand. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's just got really great pacing. I love the dialogue. Also, they copy you. 
Okay. Let's start here. Everyone has cool stuff for you dudes. I could like let you take naps here, but that's about it. Did you know the purpose of dreams is to like process junk from your day? When your brain and your third eye brain sort of everything out, you will wake up more energized, my dudes. Here, give it a whirl. Hey, I think maybe I should- No, no, I insist. I want to help out. And if that means providing you with a dope nap time, then that's what I'll do. Okay, fine. What are you doing? Were you watching me the whole time? You were out for like 12 seconds. So, did it work or not? Actually, yes. So when you woke up, you really felt woke? That's great. Come back anytime, my dudes. Yeah, just keep your distance next time, pal. I also love just their little wobble. It's very cute. I can't really do much, but I can give you full access to my shop. Free access to all the stuff in a shop? That sounds pretty useful to me. Oh, no, no, no. You must think we keep all the stuff in stock? <laughs> That's just the naivety of royalty, I suppose. We still need the gold. We sacrifice it to materialize the items. But, as I said, I'll be here whenever you need me to exchange gold for items. I can make you potions to heal your HP in or out of battle, and some to remove status effects. Shields you can equip to increase your defenses, accessories that will give you useful effects, and other miscellaneous materials. Some items are unique, meaning they can only be created once. I'll post a little sold-out sign next to that item you can't create anymore. Oh, here, I'll even give you some gold and a few potions out of my own pocket to contribute to the cause. You got gold! You got potion! I'd highly suggest getting some shields first, so make sure you take a look at them. Make sure to check in frequently, even if you don't need anything. You never know what I'll figure out how to conjure new items. Never stop learning, that's what my dad always taught me. Oh, you can also give me items to transmute into gold. I guess you could think of it like selling items if you really want. Okay, so he said shields. Um... Okay... Heal burn, heal poison... Revive a KO'd ally with a small amount of HP... And pep up heal sleep for an ally. So I'm going to grab a revive. Let's see how much the shields are first. Okay, 30 gold each. And... Okay, these are 25 and 30. What's this last one? That's selling. Okay. I want to grab a vivacious brew, just in case. Yep, we're gonna buy one. And let's see, a wooden shield is defense four, magic defense four. A heavy wooden shield is uh, HP plus five, defense five, magic defense five, but it's minus one strength and minus one magic. And then a light wooden shield is strength one, magic one, defense three, magic defense three. Okay, that honestly seems like the best one for one of our ranged characters, so I'm going to grab one light wooden shield and a regular wooden shield. Okay, and now we are out of money. <laughs> so... <clears throat> okay, party menu is Z. I haven't gotten party menu yet. Oh. Cancel. That's the miscellaneous menu again. I can't hit party menu quite yet. Okay. Okay. 
What do you want? Oh, it's you guys. I've been told I need to help you out, so let's get this over with. I'm Rico. Don't really care to learn your names. If you need to save, come talk to me and I'll take care of what... Take care of that for you as long as you promise to make it snappy. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water just to, you know, help. Hopefully get my brain wrapped around words and reading and such. This is my cousin, Samiko. She wants to follow you around outside town. She loves spinning, so maybe that can help you somehow. I don't know. This here is my Uncle Ray. He wants to help you in battle by boosting your attacks, skills, and whatnot. He has a bit of a disorder that makes him fall asleep frequently. So if you take too long to make a decision, he'll probably won't help you as much that turn. Oh, also, if you talk to Samiko, she can teleport you back here, and that will make a temporary return teleport point where you came from. You can use the teleport point here if you go to that temporary point. But remember that if you create another return point, it will erase the last one, only one at a time. You might find it more teleport point. Bleh. You might find more teleport points. <laughs> I can't say it in that accent. You might find more teleport points around the world. If you do, you can teleport between them freely. That would be a good way to come back and do any business you have in town, even in the middle of a trip. Oh, also, I should probably mention I tend to get to transcend space and time every now and then. Don't worry, I'm taking medicine for it. So you might see me around in some other places. <laughs> I love that just... He has a medical condition for uh, traveling through time and space. <laughs> and that's why he shows up other places. <laughs> Best explanation ever. All right, that's it, bye. So the battle timer. You may have noticed this little fella in the bottom left corner of the battle screen when it's your turn to pick an action. He wants to help you fight, but he'll get sleepier the longer you take to make your decision. The sleepier he is, the less he'll be able to help you. He will enhance whatever action you choose. The strength of the enhancement depends on how quickly you made your decision. So act quickly and think ahead to get more help from him. So this is the part I'm going to struggle with. Just you frickin' watch. Okay. I scrounged up some old weapons for you. Each weapon has a different strength, usually related to crits. I put inscriptions on them to help you know what each weapon type is good for, so make sure you read them. Try them all out and see what you like most. Some might be better for different situations, so don't neglect any of them. And that's going to be another thing I struggle with. You got eight weapons for free! They're a bit weak now, but I could make the some new ones for you, in theory. I'm a little rusty, so I'll have to find my old instruction manuals and practice first. There should be quite a bit of topaz on your way to Gator Manor. So why don't you grab some on your way and I should be ready to make some topaz weapons when you get back. I'll even let you use me lucky pickaxe. You got a lucky pickaxe! Ore deposits will spawn in random positions on the world map. Interact with an ore deposit to start mining. The black bar will move quickly from right to left. Try to press the confirm button as the black bar is inside the yellow section. Once the black bar reaches the left side, it will move back towards the right side. Try to press the confirm button as the black bar is inside the yellow section to the right. You'll receive more ore depending on how accurate you are. Keep practicing. You can view that little tutorial whenever you want from your tutorial menu. Press V on a keyboard to access various menus including the tutorial menu. There might be even be other ways to get your hands on some gems, so keep an, keep an eye out. Alright. It looks like we can do some gardening here if we had the right tools. Hello. As the town chef, I think I could help you with some magic soup. Chef? I always thought you were a witch. 
<laughs> what? How absurd! <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let's see what you got. When you attune my perfectly normal stock pot made for cooking food as we are, it can manifest some delicious skill morsels for you. So, crystal shard, break a crystal. Princesses love crystals to deal magic ice damage to an enemy. I need a mouth tooth, a weak monster essence, and 30 gold. Unfortunately, they're dry and bland at the start, but if you could get the right ingredients, I could turn them into moist, relevant treats. You could get some of these ingredients from monsters right outside, probably. I definitely suggest you each get some skills before you go too far on your journey. Keep in mind that the monster essence ingredients only seem to come from monsters outside. You won't find those in dungeons. What? Don't look at me like that. You're not actually killing anything. Monsters just disappear when you defeat them and are respawned. You know that. The parts they leave behind are just imitations, not their real body parts. That would be disgusting. These recipes are pretty unique, so once you've used a monster part to craft a skill, you, can pr you probably won't need it for more skills. You can just sell them, throw them away, or do what you want with them. Oh, you can also hit left shift or right shift on a keyboard to swap whose soup you're looking at. Did you know you can also hit left or right anywhere to swap who is in the lead of your group? You probably didn't know that, but now you do. We came together and helped to build to you guys a party menu. Oh, hey. It's not much, but it will get the job done. I like that they built it. That is very cute and very sweet of them. I personally donated this magic box. You can store an infinite amount of items in it. Well, maybe not infinite, but it can fit a lot. So that is another thing about this game that I was informed of when watching others play and so when the developer Matt Sharp was in chat for a few of those playthroughs. Uh, each item has its own slot, more or less, and so there should be infinite bag space, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, it also has a few separate layers, so you can organize your items by category. This one is really important. Everything relies on XP. Even We even pulled together some XP for you. All XP is shared between you guys. No individual XP here. You can raise your shared party level with this. Your stats will go up and more importantly, each piece of equipment has a minimum item level. You can... you have to be able to use it. <clears throat> Alright. You can also lower your level. Why would you want to do that? Because you might need a little more XP to go towards a certain piece of equipment or skill. Okay, that's really cool. I forgot that bit. It has been more than a week since I saw someone play this last. And I've only seen two people play it and they played it very different ways, interestingly enough. That's right, you need XP to equip gear and skills too. I told you XP is important. These panels here show you how much XP you have invested in your current equipment and skills. If you want to change equipment, you can hit this panel and... Voila! Just hit the equipment slot you want to change, and then you can pick an item to put in that slot. Hitting a weapon slot will bring up the weapon types. Then you can pick a weapon type and it will show you all the weapons you have in that category. Keep in mind that only one of the, you can use a weapon at a time. So Aru, if you had a hammer equipped and someone else wanted to use a hammer, you'd have to switch to a different weapon type first or swap weapons with them. <clears throat> There's also something important that you should know about this. You will need to spend XP to open slots to equip your skills. Each slot will cost progressively more XP, so you really should be thrifty and only equip the skills you need to save XP. Don't worry though, you can always lower the amount of skill slots so to get XP back. Well, that's the basics. Make sure to try it all yourself. 
Also, you definitely shouldn't leave town without equipping weapons and skills and leveling up a bit, so make sure you do that. All right, so real quick, I am going to put it in chat again. Okay, so today the game we're playing is Video Game Fables, and we are playing the demo to make sure that we do not spoil anything for anybody beyond this point. The demo is incredibly generous, though. It does go through the end of the first dungeon in the game. Uh, that's about like two hours of gameplay, depending on what you do with your time could be longer if you spend a lot of time grinding, I believe. Uh, so this game is made by Momiji Studios, a one-person game dev company, and the full game is now out and available on Steam. I have a link for that in chat right now. And the music just keeps getting better and better and better. You'll, you'll see. Uh, so I have also put a link for the Bandcamp soundtrack. Uh, <clears throat> if you are to buy the soundtrack through Steam, all the profits from that do go to the composer, but he gets the larger cut of those profits if you buy through the Bandcamp instead, which is why I'm providing that link. All right. So... I do think that I am going to take a real quick break. So, <clears throat> be right back. I think I'm just going to leave the music on uh, if that is an option. I don't remember if it's on my BRB screen or not, but I'm just going to take a quick break and I'll be back shortly so we can continue.
All right, I am back. So, let's continue. Again, it seems like my computer is cooling down a little bit, but uh, we're gonna cancel that. Um, my computer is cooling down a little bit, so I'm very thankful for that, uh, but it <laughs> is still hot and the CPU is still running high and like, I had thought that all of the issues today were Twitch, but it looks like OBS is also like maxing itself out. <laughs> Wednesdays are for chaos. Hi, Seki, welcome in. <clears throat> Glad to see you. Today has been chaotic. Uh, Twitch broke, OBS is having issues, my computer is overheating again. And it's been a lot, but we've been having fun playing video game fables. Seki says I was learning about route tables and subnets today and oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, Twitch was having AWS issues. So that's fun. I don't know if they actually fixed it or not. Uh, by the look of things, I doubt it. They just made it so that people are still able to go live again. Uh, but it looks like they're still having issues with transactions and stuff. So that's fun. <clears throat> and yeah, please let me know if the volumes are weird. AWS issues. Yeah, actually, I saw an update on it recently when I checked my job application. Oh, really? <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, let's make sure that we save. So you're gonna save or waste my time? We're gonna save. Fine, it's done. Goodbye. <clears throat> we have an angry alarm clock with a top hat. I hope you noticed his little top hat. <laughs> Sound seems fine. Good to hear. I know that the music was really loud earlier, so I adjusted the volume, but I didn't have time to do a sound check. So, <clears throat> but yeah, we just got all of our equipment. Uh, we need to go into the party menu now. Oh goodness. Okay, so Aru. Okay, we're going to start by giving our boy Nate some stuff. Good to hear your pun on detail okay today. <laughs> You're on pun detail. I can words. Words are a thing I can totally do. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to give him a shield. And all of them are pretty even, but I know that Tater can be a bit of a wimp. So we're going to give him a shield as well. <clears throat> okay, so... Why does he have 10 skills? Oh, because he's got the chef's special. Serve up a cast iron headache to deal physical damage to an enemy. Cast time two, recovery three. Must have crits. Okay, so what's Aru? Doesn't have a skill yet. Wait. Oh, it, she does. Mend. Force yourself to show affection to mend an ally's spirit and heal their HP. We're putting that one in Aru's skills. And what about you, Tater? Hot breath. Deal spicy magic fire damage to an enemy. <clears throat> okay. So, let's... Okay... It is funny that the shield gives him a little bit of strength. Anyways, uh, Aru, we want to be distanced because she's the only one with a healing skill. So swords are non-crit. Basic attacks do more damage. Daggers, basic attacks can be performed one turn sooner. 
Axes, basic attacks, have a higher crit damage multiplier. Spears can store one additional crit. Basic attacks have a slightly higher chance to get a crit, and basic attacks powered by a crit can obtain a crit. Interesting. Boomerangs. Basic attacks have a higher chance of gaining a crit. Wands. Magic damage deals... Uh, magic damage skills have an even higher crit damage multiplier. Basic attacks deal magic damage and scale off of magic stats. So, that would probably be good for Tater. Hmm. Spears also sound really good for the fire breath skill. Um, but... Uh, magic damage skills have an even higher crit damage multiplier, so this will make them, uh, this will make them hurt more, I think. And we can always change them out later. Plus, like, Spear might actually be good for Aru because I think the healing can only be done on a crit. So if you have multiple crits lined up, you have multiple heals. <coughs> Bows. Skills can be performed one turn sooner in hammers. Physical damage skills have an even higher crit damage multiplier. Okay. I think for Aru, I am going to try that spear. <clears throat> I like that her little face is over the spear now. Okay, and I wanted to give him the wand. Okay, and what should we give Nate? So swords, non-crit attacks do more damage. Uh, daggers, basic attacks can be for formed a turn sooner. Axes, basic attacks have higher crit damage multiplier. Hammers, physical damage skills have an even higher crit damage multiplier. Skills can be performed one turn sooner, or basic attacks have a higher chance of gaining crit. Um, let's give him a sword. Give our basic boy a basic weapon. <clears throat> okay, so I still have 25 EXP available. And our people do not have any more skill slots that they can do at the moment. <clears throat> Uh-oh. That was unintentional. Let's go back into that menu. Yeah. So. Uh, we are all at level 2 now. That should help a bit. Yeah, it gives Tater 20 magic. Um, and Nate has 16 strength. And Aru has 17 strength, which is funny. But, yeah. We'll make this work. Okay, I'm gonna save again. So you're gonna save or just waste my time? I'm gonna save. Fine, it's done. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. And I don't think I can do anything with the magic stew pot yet. <laughs> I don't have a mouth tooth or a weak monster essence or any gold. And I don't have a Hoofus Helmet, a weak monster essence, or gold. So, Stumped Petal, Grasp Blade. Also, Seki, all of these things are puns, which seems right up your alley. So, pay attention to that. <laughs> oh. Chapeau hat. <laughs> Okay, so we can't do anything with the skills right now. We saved. We're all weaponed up. So let us leave. Um, okay, so real quick rundown of what's happened so far. And let me just... Again. The name of the game is Video Game Fables. We are playing the demo in order to ensure that we are not giving away any spoilers for later parts of the game. Uh... The full game is out and available on Steam. There is a link in chat right now. Uh, the music just keeps getting better and better. So if you are interested in 
buying the music, uh, the soundtrack, the composer does get all profits from the Steam store. However, his cut is larger if you buy from Bandcamp instead. So that link is also in the description. Basically what happened here is uh, uh, the player character paused the game and left for like a decade, never to return. So the princess was captured, Princess Aru right here. Um, let me click back on the game. Princess Aru right here was captured and taken to Gator Manor. And she was tired of being captured, so she turned sideways and slipped out of uh, the bars of her cell, escaped the castle, and Nate right here was leaving Gator Manor uh, in order to take a delivery away. He seems to be a merchant NPC of some sort and gave her a ride back. And this is Tater. He is the son of Lord Gator, and he is a precious, precious boy who is terrified of the world around him. <clears throat> but yeah, I like Aru. She's really, <laughs> she's sassy, and I love it. Uh, but yeah, so she came back. It literally undid the script and caused the player character to kind of like glitch out and release uh, the Forsaken Princess, who is the evil character in the game as far as we can tell at this point. Uh, the pink in the background over here, this is where the castle was with Aru's father, the king, the guards, and Tater's father, Lord Gator, stuck in the castle behind these bright pink chains. So the Forsaken Princess took all of them away. The castle that was here is no longer here. They think it's in this giant hole somehow. They're not entirely sure. But now they have to go save everyone. And Tater said that there is an alchemist at Gator Manor who might be able to help them. Okay, Nate. I need to take care of something. It won't take long. What did you do? A hero doesn't need a merchant's cart, so I let my horse go free. We could have used that to travel faster. I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I just kind of got caught up in the moment. Oh god, Nate. It's fine. She was a rental anyway. Plus, she'll be much happier as a wild, untethered beast. This is going really well so far. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this. A comic book? Not just any comic book, it's a monster comic-con! It will magically create a page for any monster we come in contact with. It'll be great for studying them, learning elemental weaknesses, and all kinds of helpful info. We could use it to research at any time. We could even use it in the middle of battle if we really wanted. The monster comic-con. Our first entry is a gloop because that's the only thing we have fought so far. Um, you can view useful information for enemies through the Monster Comic Con. Enemies will automatically be added when you encounter them. You can open the Monster Comic Con in battle by using this highlighted option in battle. So the little book with a question mark on it. All right. And now we continue forward and probably actually get into battle. Wow, we're really about to start our journey together. How exciting. Remember, we're going to Gator Manor. It's to the northeast of Castleton. Oh, also, did you guys know you can save anytime you're out here on the world map? We don't need Rico for that here. We can do lots of cool things with our miscellaneous menu, like saving, teleporting back to Castleton with the Samiko's help, looking at tutorials, researching monsters in the Monster Comic Con, and maybe some other cool stuff. If you're ever unsure of something, just ask me. Or I guess you could just view the tutorials instead. It would also probably be a good idea to get some materials from monsters so we can cook up some new skills. Anyway, it's time for our adventure! 
You can move the camera freely on the world map and in some other areas. Use the right analog stick or numpad keys on the keyboard to rotate the camera. Numpad keys. Let's see what's around us. I'm not controlling that right now. Oh, it spins. You can also press uh, the F key on the keyboard to toggle between a close and far camera distance only on the world map. So that's close. This gives you a closer look. If you want to zoom out, just press the button again. Please take time to explore the options in your miscellaneous menu by pressing V on a keyboard. You can use this menu to save on the world map, check your Monster Comic Con to read enemy data, read tutorials, set options, and teleport back to Castleton from the world map. Monster Encounters. As you walk around certain areas, you will be periodically chased by spheres of dark energy. Coming in contact with one will put you into battle. There's a rumor that if you keep fighting and don't avoid battles, you have a higher chance of finding special encounter spheres, which will have increased loot drop rates. That's just a rumor, though. Okay, now you're free to go. For real this time. I don't believe you. Okay, so... Ooh, a chest! If anyone knows from my previous streams, like... I am all about finding loot. I got 50 gold! Hooray. Oh, heck yeah. So the orange ones are the special ones. I wasn't expecting to run into them immediately. Okay, so C... Uh. uh oh mouth uses bite so also I love mouth because it's a mouse with large teeth so it has a lisp so instead of being a mouse it's a mouth I got a crit Oh, and now Tater's got a crit. Rude! Okay, they all have crits now. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that was a mistake. That's fine. Oh, Tater. My boy. Okay, so that is a Z. And we're going to select that and put it on Tater. Okay. This is the first time I've had a full battle like this, so pardon me while I do terribly. We earned enough EXP to level up. 21 XP and 19 gold. Hooray. Also, these uh, points right here, where it's all misty above the water, those are fishing spots, but we don't yet have a fishing rod. Hmm. <clears throat> Also, pardon me as my voice gets a little scraggly. I didn't get as much sleep last night, so my throat is a little bit sore. Hey! You got a chest! We got another chest. Awesome. 15 EXP, 13 gold, and we got two weak monster essences and one gloop goop. I think the gloop goop is for Tater? For one of Tater's skills? Hey, look, a chest.
They're following me! Ah! Hey, thank you. More weak monster essences! We need those for reasons! <clears throat> Okay. Oh, dang it. Um, I'm not very good at that mini game. <laughs> That's my first time doing it on already bad. <clears throat> I see a teleport point. So let's go grab that teleport. <laughs> yeah, it's a stumped. Ouchie. Maru is going to attack the stumped again if it's still alive. But it has a much higher HP, so we need to get rid of that first. No, don't poison our little lizard boy! Um, so that's going to be a Z fire on the mouth. And that's going to be a Z heal on self. Yay! <clears throat> and we got a mouth tooth! You unlock the Northwest Pond! World map teleport point. You can teleport to these points from other teleport points. I'm going to use that to get back to Castleton real quick. And make sure that we save. I'm also going to go take a nap in the weirdo's tent. That is shaped like a bed. Oh, I have to talk to him. Do you dudes want to take a nap? Sure. Have a safe journey, my dudes! Alright, and back here. Oh hey, we have enough to get the crystal shard skill. Awesome. We do not have the Hoofus Helmet yet. Don't We haven't seen a Stumped yet. Oh, we have seen one Stumped. We have not seen a Grasp. Yeah, Comet Splash. Deal magic water damage. Cool, cool. And we haven't seen a Chapeau hat either. So... Party menu. So, Aru has skills. Excellent. And Tater also has skills. And we have 10 XP available, which isn't enough to level the party. But that is okay. I found one topaz that's probably not enough. I don't have any other weapons available to make yet, but you can make sure to collect some topaz in the meantime. Thank you. Arietta Bot is reminding us to all take a sip of water, because hydration is an important part of every adventure. Especially when you are running on not enough sleep. Okay, so... The manor is to the northeast. That is... Uh, not what we're looking for. That is a really cool... Like, autumn town. I think that's where we're supposed to be going? Potentially? Or is that it? No, that has lava. That seems... 
Correct. Let's head towards the lava. Uh, Seki says I'm running on a complete lack of food because I did not expect to have dinner yet. To not have dinner yet. Oops. Yeah, indeed, oops. Maybe grab a snack? I don't know. Okay, so... Eh. Okay, so I'm not doing well with the cameras from this angle. Oh, hey, look, another chest. This would probably be easier to play with a controller. It does seem more built for that, and that was the initial configuration. So, probably easier with a controller, especially for the cameras. Hey, look, it's a grasp! Do you see their little grasping hands? Incredible. going to attack this one. Nate is, yeah, just gonna attack in order for now. Oh no! Hey! Got one. Aru is going to use Z to cure... Tater. And we're going to try to get rid of that other grasp. That was a full heal. Very nice. Okay. And we're going to use a special attack. From Nate. Seki says, finally just got the phone call, gonna start cooking in 10 minutes. Okay. Hey, we got enough EXP to level up and more gold! We are doing so well. And you cannot convince me otherwise. You probably could, but I would appreciate if you didn't. Oh god. Okay, so I need to get some crits real fast so that I can heal up Nate. Because I don't have a potion yet. Up. X. C. Sorry if I'm not talking a whole bunch. There's just a lot going on. Okay. Z. Heart. Nate. Oh! One hit KO. Very nice. Uh, Soseki asks, so is this a real uh, time decision-making RPG? Uh, yes. Come on. Oh my god. Stop circling. Thank you. Unlock the Northeast Lake world map teleport point. We're gonna go back to Castleton. So, you get bonuses on your attacks the less amount of time it takes for you to make a decision. So the longer it takes for you to make a decision, uh, the less bonuses you receive. Okay, so I have money now. I'm gonna go to the party menu. 
Actually, that is incorrect. I am first going to grab some potions in the instance that I need them. So, potion... Five potions, that should be enough, right? Oh, I already had some in inventory, I didn't realize that. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see... That's different, okay. Press Z to switch to buying items, okay. So we already... Oh... We only have the one though, okay. Um, so we already got the gloop goop. So... The skill that we need that for. Sell. Okay. And we are going to cancel out. Nope, please thank you. Seki says, uh, sometimes uh, just incentives to spam basic attack for like two turns to build crits for options. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Still haven't seen a Hoofus. Don't have those yet. And haven't seen a Chapeau. I should be remembering these. I'm totally not. That's a thing that I am not doing as a matter of fact. <laughs> Did I go to the right one? Yes. <gasps> Another chest! I'm so good at finding these. Four topaz! Oh, thank god. I was not doing well at finding topaz or gaining them. Hey, I see another chest way off in the distance. And we're gonna grab this teleport point in front of the manor. Gator Manor, teleport point. Okay. Hey, another chest. And more monsters. But let's go grab that chest first and some more topaz, see if we can get at least one improved weapon for one of our characters. We have been converged upon. <laughs> there was no way we were getting out of that one. I do like the battle system, though. I think it's very interesting how it's set up. Ow. Rude. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not good at that one. That went very fast. Still bad. <laughs> getting there, getting there. I want to see what's back here. Oh, they just coming out of the woodwork. So much lava. Okay. 
Ouchie. Uh, we're going to use fire. I don't know if we're, we're going to be able to get to all of that in time. Excellent. Ooh, there's a chest over there, though. Don't poison her! Rude! Okay, uh, X we're going to use. Z, fire on this one because it is big. Leave her alone! Okay, Aru, I'm going to heal you. Double poisoned! Freaking rude. Well, there's one. Okay, so see, we're gonna attack that one. Tasty Pollen. I'm assuming that's a personal buff. Oh, it's a healing. Okay. And give that to Tater. Oh my god, rude! Apparently that one heals. Uh... Go enjoy dinner, Seki. Make sure you eat. Take care of yourself first. Oh my god. We have to get rid of this one. Have to get rid of it! Owie! Okay, so we're going to hit that one, and we're going to use a potent potion. No, we'll just use a regular potion on Aru. And Tater, we're just going to have him hit it. Oh, I should have used his fire attack. That would have been the intelligent choice. Success! Okay. We're getting this chest and then we're probably gonna teleport back. 80 gold! Oh god. Just gonna run. Uh, so it's the miscellaneous menu? Yeah. We're gonna heal. And we're gonna save. And we're gonna check. Still don't have a grasp blade or a stumped petal. And we haven't seen a chapeau yet. Well, we got some topaz. Maybe this guy can help us with more weapons now. Nope, not yet. Do you have anything for us? An antidote might be good. I'm gonna get two antidotes. And I think since we're going into a lava area, having some balm for burns would be a wise choice. 
this pep up. He'll sleep for an hour. I might as well have one just in case. Okay. I'm going to get a light wooden shield for Aru. I really should at some point get one of these. Maybe when I get two more gold. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah, we ended up with too many potions, so let's just sell one. And then we switch back, and now we can get a strength boon belt for our main character type dude, Nate. Okay. So, equipment for Aru. Give her a shield. And we wanted equipment... An accessory to strengthen him up. And we didn't get anything else for Tater, did we? No. We still have 82 EXP available to us. Nice, we were able to get two levels out of it. Okay. Teleport to the temporary teleport point. And let's see what's around this corner. Ooh! Another chest way off in the distance. Ooh, and a secret chest over there! Vile gloves? What are those? Increase damage, tick, potency of your poison and burn skills by 20%! That's a thing that Tater would be good for. Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves back down to level 3 so that we can give Tater these vile gloves. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there was no avoiding that one. Oh, I should have gone for the stumped. Oh, hi, Nikki. I have a cat randomly attacking me now. No, leave the poison out of it. Okay, Aru's got a crit, so I'm gonna use ice on this stumped. And... Nate's also got a crit, so let's use that on this here mouth. And let's use this crit on the goop. Yes! Very good. Love it. And that was enough to level up again. Okay. And I think we can just go off the edge right here. Yes. But we cannot go back up it. Light, copper, shield! They're just giving us all sorts of goodies. Uh, it is level 7. So we would have to be level 7, maybe? Um, but it's 2 strength, 2 magic, 5 defense, and 5 magic defense. Which would be really good! 
it would be really good, but we are not level 7. I think that's what that means, but I don't really know for certain. Hey! Ah. I still got a decently good one for the first one. Still. Still doing pretty well as far as I care. Oh, let's go get that other topaz over here. This mini game, oh! It's fine, I'm having a good time. Okay, so I. That wasn't the one I wanted. Uh, it's a V? Yeah. So I'm gonna return to Castle Tunic again. And, yeah, I know, I'm definitely being way overcautious. This is kind of how I play RPGs like this, though. So I apologize if it seems just kind of like, oh, she's doing that, that same thing again. I should have checked my inventory. Nothing particularly new. And we're gonna save. Alright, so. Oh, that wasn't the point. Wasn't the point I wanted to go to. I clicked too fast. Gator Manor, please, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna try to get through a little bit of this. Wow, I've never seen the Gator Gate up close before. Can I put the keys in? Keys? I thought the arrow needed to collect the prisms. How can you be so uh, crucial to the script yet so clueless? Before the reset, the script had the hero get f the five prisms and bring them to my grandpa's castle. After my grandpa passed away, my father took over the business. He and your father made a new, more exciting script to hold the deity's attention so we could prevent another reset. So, the deity is the player character. So, uh, Tater's dad and the king made a more exciting script in order to hold our attention so that we could play and prevent another reset. So, to make sure the deity doesn't get bored, our genius dads decided that instead of making the hero collect five prisms, taking them to a castle and beating up an old frog, the hero would collect five keys, take them to the castle, and beat up an old frog. What a truly incredible feat in writing. Stop making fun of the script. Well, the world hasn't paused or reset yet, so I'm sure whatever the hero and the witch are up to now is more exciting than the script since it's still entertaining the deity. We're wasting time! I'm going to get the spare key from a top secret hiding spot, so I need you to look away, no peeking. Hey guys. Looking at the screen here, where do you think the top he secret hiding spot is? 
Where on this screen do you think the top secret hiding spot for the spare key is? Anyways. <laughs> oh, oh, I bet it's in the plant. Just don't look, please. Guys, it was in the plant. All right, and in we go. Oi, what are you doing here? Um, I'm in my house. Sorry, mate. Now that your dad's gone, no, Paulin is in charge. Your dad chose his throne instead of you to, to be next in line to the throne? What a jerk. It's nothing personal. Paulin said there was a typo in the contract, so here we are. Listen, we just need to see the alchemist. It's the only way you'll get Lord Gator back. So we'll just be coming through now. Excuse me? Lord Palin said none pass, so your lord commands it. Heh heh heh. Oh, he didn't say heh heh heh. He said heh 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 heh. I remember because I counted three kehs on my fingers. You don't have fingers, mate. Okay, I'm bored of this. We're going up these stairs now. All right, we're gonna attack these guards. Yay, Tater's got a little crit. Owie. Okay, I'm thinking water because we're in a lava area. Ouchie. Oh, so close. There we go. Yay! <laughs> they fell down. Okay, so miscellaneous menu? Nope, that's not it. Uh, party menu? Yes. Okay, so... This is 50 EXP. Give one each to them. Normally I don't use my items, I'm just... Oh, hi! So you're gonna save or just waste my time? We're gonna save. Fine, it's done, goodbye. Okay. Oh! Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. Tater! What the fuck is this? The hero needs obstacles, right? Don't worry, I can turn it off. I mean, it looks kind of fun, to be honest. Bad news, I think Palin changed the password. Guess we have no choice! Okay. A little bit of platforming. Ow. And injuries from the platforming. Oh, now we got spikes. Grand. We're just gonna keep running and get injured, that's fine. Ah. I want the money though. Uh oh. I fell in the lava and died. Bot is reminding us to take a sip of water. Okay, so I'm going to battle real quick. Oh, they all got hurt pretty bad from all that. 
all that failure. Ooh. Uh oh. Wait, oh shit. Okay, so Z, we're gonna use water. This one has some sort of special on it, it looks like, so. Ow! No! Okay, so real quick, gonna take that one out. And I'm going to use uh, this one, the Vivacious Brew on Aru. Ouchie. Just hit it real fast. Okay, we did it. Okay, so now we're gonna get some big heals on a couple characters. about leveling up a bit. There we are. Ow! Why did it still hurt? Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but I suck at platformers, as you may have noticed by the fact that I just fell in lava Oh, great. Okay, so... Yay! We got one! Owie! Owie! Uh, leave... our boy... alone! Okay, Z, I'm gonna use... Fire and use that on B. Yes, I got one of them. Cool. Chunk. Ooh. Um, also, I probably need to use more healing. Um, I wonder, can I teleport from here? Uh, miscellaneous menu? No. So yeah, we're gonna need to use more healing because I'm bad at this. Um, and level up again. There. Okay, so... Hey! I should not have used my potions. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, a Hoofus Helmet! And a Chapeau Hat! Nice, okay. So now I am... going to go back to Castleton real quick. And restock on my supplies. Jeez! Okay, and now we go over to the soup lady, who is definitely not a witch. Definitely. 
Okay, so now we have Charm. He just, uh, utilizes the level of cuteness only a princess has to lower one enemy's strength. Very good. We still haven't gotten Nate's stuff. Weird. But this is the last thing that we needed. Demoralize. Say some mean villainous stuff to an enemy to lower their magic. I like that. Okay. The blacksmith might not be something that is available to us until we're out of the demo. Cold chunk. Uh, I don't know if we'll need that later, but it's it's fine. We can get more. Um. So now we go back, we get the vivacious brew, but let's check all these other things first. Okay, so gain 20 HP, gain 5 magic, 5 magic defense, and 5 defense. I think the magic would be very good to have, so we're going to grab two of those. Is that magic attack? And does Aru stuff count as magic attack? Or is it just magic in general? We're just gonna grab it anyway. Um, and we are going to grab more vivacious brews because it's very likely that we're going to need them again. Okay. Oh. Nee. I need to stop clicking so fast. That's a my bad. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons, which is a my bad. Um, anyways, I'm going to put it in chat again. Actually, what time is it? Alright, so we are nearing the end of our stream. I'm having quite a bit of fun with this and would like to continue. Um, we are almost to the end of the demo, I want to say, but uh, we still have like a big old boss fight uh, that usually takes a few tries. So I think that'll fit in well to another stream and then I'll most likely pick up the full game and continue playing it. So. Um, for those interested, the game is Video Game Fables by Momiji Studios, a one-person game dev company. The full game is out and available on Steam, where there is a link in our chat box right now to go and pick it up. If you're enjoying the music, uh, the developer gives all profits for the soundtracks sold on Steam to the musician, but if you would like to pay the same and to get the musician a larger cut, you can also purchase the soundtrack on Bandcamp. The link for that is also presently in the chat. Okay, now I just gotta get a hold of all of my stuff <laughs> um but yeah thank you all for coming and hanging out with me this has been different i've been trying to do a lot more variety so it's been more variety than i originally had planned but i've been having a lot of fun with this and i just wanted to make sure that i could share this game because it was just really cool and i liked the music and i liked the writing for it, it's real snarky and everything is a pun. Uh, all of the buildings are representations of what the shop owners are doing, what they are useful for. I just really enjoyed it. But yeah, again, thank you for coming in, hanging out. Um, if you would like to see more of the stuff that I do, 
or if you would like updates, you can head on over to the Beacons directory that is now in chat and on screen. From there, you can find links for my Twitter, uh, community Discord, uh, VODs are on my YouTube, and tipping is on Kofi and Throne. Uh, the past several Wednesdays have been really chaotic because my CPU cooler is struggling hard. Oh, and Ariadabot is helping by giving that link again. Thank you, Ariadabot. That's kind of you. Um, I'm just going to find someone for us to raid into real quick. But yeah, um, all the money on Kofi is going towards a CPU cooler. And then I just need to get a new motherboard so that I will have my upgrades complete for my computer. Oh, we are we are having a slow time. Uh, one of the nice things about uh, this game is that if you are playing the demo, you do get to keep your save when you are going in to play the full game. So I thought that that was super cool. Um, I thought that was really neat and really kind of the developer to give such an incredibly generous um, demo that takes you all the way through the first dungeon. It's like one sixth of the game because it's about a 12 hour game, if you depending on how you play. More than that, if you're like me and look at freaking everything. Um, <laughs> But yeah, very generous, and you get to transfer your save. So, very cool. Just checking out a friend real quick to see if they're available to go and raid. If you would like to join me on that raid, the ma raid message is going into chat right now. Uh, so just give that a copy. And we're going to raid Indecisive Fox. We've raided them before, I believe their pronouns are she, her. Um, I believe. But Indecisive Fox is a Final Fantasy XIV and variety streamer as well. She's currently playing uh, Genshin Impact, which is a game that we will be back to playing next week. So, looks like all that's going well, so let's head on over. Again, thank you very much. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you again on Friday for more Final Fantasy XIV. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you then. Bye.